in state. I got him an England top. <laughs> I got him an England top. We are heading away from Lucille Stadium as all of these guys. Actually, we've just missed the bulk of it, but you can kind of just see them through the window there uh, and coming out the side there. Uh, as everyone is arriving and the trains are, are disembarking for the matches that are being played, like right here, essentially. Opening ceremony tackle. We're going to the fan park for it. I don't believe it's called Fan Festival. It's a high quality bus game, that. Carpet. <laughs> <laughs> has arrived. It's a busy one. This is the media entrance and it looks closed so I actually don't know one if we're going to get in two if all of those people are going to get in out there I don't know if it's too full I don't know if it opens at a specific time I don't know what's going on we will find out I guess from what we can determine has happened all of these guys here have just been kicked out of the fan park and there's a lot this is a big line of people that's getting launched out here from what we can gather this place is going to be shut and everyone's being turfed out. This is this is a queue of people leaving. That entrance is closed, this entrance is closed, no media are getting in whatsoever. It seems like it's under control, but it doesn't look like it's gone to plan. Ilhob! So we are leaving the fan park with what looks like somewhere in the region of 30, 40,000 people. <laughs> a lot of fucking people, put it that way. I mean, there's literally people as far as the eye can see. Lots and lots and lots of them, and they're kicking people out still. Uh, and the game hasn't started for another six minutes. <laughs> so uh, I guess it was a bit busy than they anticipated it being. Well, we made it to the metro station. It's a massive ass queue. It's like pure old tower tackle. And it weaves around for what feels like hundreds of meters. I imagine it's going to be chaos on the train. Hey, Steve. What? What are you saying about tickets, man? What are we doing, man? Are we going to any games? What's the crap, bro? What's the deal? Um, well, I was supposed to be one of the Germany games, but I'm not here now. I'm out. It's, um, it's on Wednesday when I'm in fucking Dubai. Well, I think I got you with the tickets, bro. When? Uh, today, bro. Why are you filming me? No, but I'm just saying, I got you with the tickets, bro. Why are you filming me? Do you want to go to a game, Steve? Why are you so fucking excited? I know what game I should be bringing you to. Yes, you guessed it. England versus Iran. Listen, bro, don't worry. You're a dickhead. No, listen, you're, I, I, you're I, such I hooked this up with two tickets. You're such yeah. an idiot. Just try it, bro. You don't know if you don't try. <laughs> let's enjoy it, man. We're in Qatar, do you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Come on, look. Get dressed. The yeah. One game. Let's the go. one game, Joel. Get dressed. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> All right. Let's hit it up. Okay. It is day four. What are you wearing, Steve? <laughs> I got him an England top. <laughs> I got him an England top. <laughs> Why I hate England. So I'm preempting all these comments. Listen, we got a Portuguese top. Got an Argentinian top. And I thought this got a would Japanese be perfect, top. bro. Listen, you got to embrace it. I told you, man. Look, I got two on. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know Joel, what I mean? Joel's been freezing the whole time he's been here for some reason. I know. Yeah, I know. he's wearing a jacket. It's well hot. I'm ready for the evening. It that's might be why. too hot. But anyway, day four. Tonight's England versus Iran. 
I'd like to tell you I'm going as a neutral, but I'm not dressed like one, am I? Joe thinks he's playing. Look yeah, look at this. <laughs> Sorry, Joe thinks he's playing. Look. <laughs> but either way, yo, we're here. We're going to enjoy the games. Let's hope Marcus Rashford plays. Otherwise, I'm going to be a quiet kid in a corner. But there was a major talking point yesterday. We've had a look at some of the news reports. While we were there, we obviously was turned away. There was a hell of a lot of people there. That was our experience. But it does seem, at least on the face of things, like no one was hurt. So that's good. Somewhere in the region of 80,000 people turned up at a place that only holds 40. So if no one was hurt, that's a miracle. Let's hope that's not something that's gonna get repeated. Maybe it was just because it was the opening ceremony. Every day, there's gonna be now four games on. At least for the group stages where loads of people are here. So I can't imagine you're gonna to see too many spots where that many people are gonna be going. Let's hope that was just a bit of teething problems. That's one of the problems with holding it in a place that doesn't experience major competitions on a regular basis. I think the stadium that we're on our way to now has never hosted a game of this size before as well. So expect teething problems, give yourselves loads of time and hope for the best really. Right here, we are almost at the stadium. He's coming. I don't think he knows he's not got a ticket. <laughs> I'm outside, found Laurie Wimble from out there, Athletic. It might be a bit of a drama with the tickets, but we'll find out in a minute as we're going through. It says the ticket's going to activate on the day of the game. Not only is it a day of game, it's 14 minutes to kick off. <laughs> so let's hope that they, they're going to let me in. Someone's told me, yeah, just go in, it'll be fine. So we're going to just go in and, and then clearly get fucked off, aren't we? That someone was me after speaking to a guy in a high vis, so... A guy in a high vis just on his way home. <laughs> Alright, I'm in. I was waiting for Laurie. Laurie's getting quizzed. Uh, but we're in. Time to get inside the stadium and see my first ever World Cup game. Get in. Right, I've just been walking up to this fucker for hours and hours and hours. Look at the view, though. That's how high up we are. That's, that's the opposite side. These ten levels. I am fucked. <laughs> hey, lad! Even when I got him because the uh, Iranian goalkeeper's down. He's holding his head. I don't know if he's all right, you know. At the end of this game, Steve will become a little bit of an England fan. He's going to the game, he's got the shirts. Let's see what happens. Come on, Luke Shaw. Joel thought it's going to be a 4 0 game. Listen, I really did so far. It's a bit tight. 4-5-1, pretty compact, just like I said it would be, mate. Yeah. You need to watch my previews. <laughs> I didn't. I watched the vlog, though. Absolute failure. 3 0. 
we've got a whole heap of subs to come on. I don't want to see Pickford messing around with it at the back. Yeah, and I want you to look at that. Pickford caught on the ball. Listen, let's not get complacent. Go go in at half time, 3 0. It's very hard to just sit there and not say these lot of shit, you know. I know, but then you don't start messing around with it at the back. That's what I'm saying. Saka has made it 4 0, which means Joel's prediction was right. Fuck don't sake. ever watch these reviews! Don't ever watch these reviews! Sancho should have been here. He's played better than some of the people I got fucking selected. Like who? Sterling. Grealish. He's played better than Grealish, yes. England won. Who would have thunk it? Pretty good performance from England in all honesty and actually very, very surprisingly poor performance. Surprisingly open performance from a Carlos Quiros Iran. Defo didn't expect that. Open. Saka on the score sheet. Twice. Sterling on the Twice. score sheet. Rashford on the score sheet. But do you know who tonight belongs to? There might have been a new coronation this summer. And I don't know if you missed it. It was a new king of England, but his name was Jude Bellingham, not Charles. Because that kid can play football. He is unbelievable, Jeff. And uh, I thought he faded a little bit in the second half, or maybe the game didn't require him to be so good in the second half. But he looked bloody impressive. And he, for me, was the difference. He was absolutely sick. Look at this guy. Okay. Look at this guy. Still wearing the England shirt. <laughs> <laughs> tell me you don't love it. Tell me you don't love it. I, I'm going to tell you something. What? How overproduced is this studio? Listen, let's take a look, <laughs> man. Let's take a look. You know, you missed yeah. it earlier on. We were playing the Bible 5 music here. But you got the screens here, you got the crew yeah, here. Yeah. Massive shout out to the crew. Maybe. You got here, got here, Tom. What's up? Where's this going? Go on. I'll probably put it there, you know, bro. You're right. Yeah. The real question is how did Paddock get along? Uh, we won 3 2 after going down again to a set piece. Terrible. You need a new set piece manager. Hi everyone. Whoa! What the Bruh. fuck, man? Yeah, Whoa! Set piece turn up. Hold on, look at this. Look, 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 look. Big yeah. He's gas, he's gas, he's gas, he's gas. Look at him. Is he coming over what? Saw your fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Hey. You gotta beat what's in front of you. Exactly. We, we pumped what was in front of us. Come on, England! What is in that reel? There's a little nice concoction, mate. See, I'm with you on a banana and a milk yeah. and a peanut butter. Yeah. But the spinach. Spinach and a bit of this. This is all important. Soy milk. No messing about, bro. It's what you do, mate. It's what we do. It's self sustained living at the moment as well, by the way, just so you know. I'm cooking Go and on, cleaning. Give us a moan. I'm cooking and cleaning every day. So listen, I've come away, right? Everyone goes, ah, oh, you're living the dream, Rio. You're living the dream. You should have seen me the other day. I had about 100 bags from the supermarket. I had a trolley. I got stopped at the, the, the car park because I wanted to take the trolley home. And I wanted to have a little ride around in the trolley, as you do when you're a kid. You remember that one? <laughs> but I got stopped. He nicked the trolley back, and I've got 100 bags to get home. It was like a shoulder workout. But to get all this stack here, look, look, the oats are there, the eggs, the toast, the banana, look, look, the honey, bit of honey sweetening up, the lure pack. You know what I mean? So you've got to get ready, man. You've got to, when it's self sustained living now, let me see if my ice is ready. So I had to do the ice this morning. Just hope it's ready. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, see where we are with it. No, no, no. It's all in the timing, see? Can't even have a cold shake. Oh, anyway, times are hard, clearly. <laughs> Rio has got like a running track around the roof of his gym or his hotel. We got fuck all. <laughs> so yesterday I ended up in the Iranian end, right? And I did a tweet and the tweet says this. So a guy's replied to us saying, at least you don't have Jermaine Jenis on commentary. <laughs> so what time was your game last night? <laughs> 
you're not trending, you're not doing it right, bro. It's as simple. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. You know what I mean? just, this is just the world we live in right now. Do you know what I mean? What you got to do, you got to believe in yourself. Do you know what I mean? These idiots on Twitter and all that, they're tweeting this and that. They ain't got a clue. Do you know what I mean? They ain't been in the dressing room, they've been in the stadium. They don't know what they're talking about. I do. At, le at least Janice believes in himself. Of course I do. Someone's got to believe in me. <laughs> just had the absolute maddest rush to get this shit sorted. Get packed, get in the Uber. Because of all that fuck about with the traffic, like Argentina and Saudi Arabia are literally playing at the stadium right by ours, which means all the fucking roads are closed. But I've got to get to the airport because I'm flying to Dubai fucking now. So let's do that. Righty, made the airport. I'm about to get onto my flight where I'm off to go and see Paddy Everett. Until then, that was what happened on Sunday and what happened with the England game and some random bits in between. So um, that's what I've been up to. Stay tuned for the next one when we'll be seeing Uncle Pat. Just a quick one before I go. If you would like to get your hands on some very, very special Paddock FC merch, we have got two pieces that are complete limited edition. And when I say limited edition, I don't think I can stress just how limited edition they are, and they're absolutely mega. They've, they're so fresh, I haven't even got my own yet. I've got some saved for myself, don't worry. But they're, they're super, super limited edition. They will be the only ones that we do. It's a Paddock and Puma collaboration, totally custom stuff just for us. So if you want your hands on them, they are very, very limited. There's literally like a handful in each size, so don't delay. If you want to get your hands on them, they look mega. Um, check the link in the description. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.